Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us today at Wig Studio One. I'm Marlene from Marlene's Wig and Chat Studio, and today I'll be reviewing Charlie by Tressa Lore in the color Dark Smoke Gray. I purchased Charlie at Wig Studio One. Charlie is available in this color, Dark Smoke Gray, as well as many other colors. The link to Charlie will be listed down below for you in the description box. I hope you stop over there and see all the beautiful colors that are available. We'd love for you to visit us on our private Facebook group, Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group, where our members are helping and supporting each other every day. We show our wigs, we ask questions, and we'd love to have you join us. Charlie from Tressalore is one of the new releases, and when I saw it in this color, Dark Smoke Gray, I thought, well, there are so many other grays that I absolutely love, and from Tressalore, I have the, uh, the three-toned gray, so I really wanted to try this one. Let's talk about the color for a little bit. The color code is 5660R8. The 56 is the lightest gray. And we'll go outside so you could see this color a little bit closer. Tressa Lore uh, describes their 60 as a silver gray, while some other manufacturers if I'm describe 60 as a white. But with Tressa Lore, it's described as a silvery gray. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Now, with... The color code has the root as an eight. Now, while it is described by Tressalore as an eight, it does to be it does appear to be a little bit darker, and I want you to be aware of that. I have a 21 and a half circumference, and Charlie fits me perfectly. I, you'll see when I show you the cap how much I have it cinched in. I'm really impressed with these new these new styles. I reviewed Blaze from Tressalore and now Charlie. And their lace fronts are absolutely impeccable. Gorgeous, gorgeous lace front. And while we don't have that band, we do have the lighter fibers in the front and a little bit more of the dark color. Beautiful transition on the lace front that goes all the way to the ear tab and the coverage is and it's amazing here is the ear tab right there and here is my hairline if you are familiar with some of my reviews very rarely do I achieve this uh, coverage so here is the hair here is the ear tab and here is just that little bit of my hairline. This is going to be one of the few wigs that I'll be able to wear all pulled back. On Charlie, we have a full mono top plus the lace front. It's a very generous mono top. What you're seeing right here is my wig cap, which I have to wear. But great illusion of scalp there, regardless of where it's parted. And I think the root is done very nicely it transitions into the rest of the wig I do see a little bit of a bluish tint to it I want you to be aware of that there is no warmth to this color but there is that little bit of a blue tint and maybe my shirt is making it appear that way as well I'll show you Charlie on all sides The fibers on Charlie are the synthetic, motocrylic, and effortless fibers. These are traditional synthetic fibers, so we really can't add any heat to them, but they are, they look and they feel like human hair. They are wispy, they are fine, just gorgeous. I think this is going to be a very popular style. I like to get it in some other colors for, for sure. We don't have much permatease, if any at all. We have a little bit surrounding the, the crown area. And we, may, we have a little bit at the nape. But I think that even if you don't care for permatease that much, you, you, won't be, you wouldn't be disappointed with this because it, it's not a pillowy type of permatease. 
the density i would say it's an average density leaning low charlie only weighs 3.7 ounces so we don't have a lot of fibers it doesn't feel to me it doesn't feel as if there is an abundance my face from hairline to chin is seven and three quarters the front of charlie is seven inches then we have the crown and the sides at 10 and a quarter inches the nape is three and a half and as i mentioned the weight is 3.67 if you wanted to cut some bangs in charlie you can do that and there is enough length here that if you wanted to put up a clip, that could be done. If you wanted to do an ear tuck, and I'm thrilled with this because I can do an ear tuck and not have to worry about my the little bit of my hairline that shows because my hair is almost the same color. Here is one of the parts that I love the most. Look at that. The way when I push the hair back, how it, it just gives you that real salt and pepper look. For all of my friends that love the salt and pepper, I think that you will absolutely love this color. I like to... Even though I don't need to, I like to pull a little bit of fibers out. Let's take a walk outside so you can see dark smoke gray out in the daylight. I'll show you the cap and then I'll come back. generous uh, full mono top and the lace front that goes ear to ear from ear tab to ear tab rather I'm, I apologize about that and we have felt covered ear tabs and we do have fibers that come down we have a non-extended nape and if you notice how far in I had to hook the adjusters despite that I have I have bio hair I have a wig cap on and I also have a wig grip and I still had to bring it in uh, probably almost half an inch on either side. Lots and lots of stretch. If I weren't wearing my wig grip, I would probably have to bring it in further or even crisscross it. So just something to keep in mind if you have a larger or a smaller circumference than the 21 and a half that I have. Thank you, everyone. At Wig Studio One, we appreciate you spending this time with us. We hope that everyone is having a fantastic day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.